All right, so let's talk about the idea of um, a population in statistics and uh, a sample, uh, which would be the part of a part of the population. Um, so, population. When you think of population, just in in the general sciences, you think of all the individuals, um, maybe in the world or maybe in a certain area of the world. And a, a population in statistics would be the whole set of individuals. About which you uh, about which you wish to draw inferences or conclusions um, w using statistical analysis. Um, so, for example, um, maybe you want to study the behavior of honeybees um, who live on commercial honey farms. Okay, so your your population wouldn't be every single honey be uh, honeybee in in the world or every single honeybee that has ever lived or will ever live, but your population would be um, honeybees who live on commercial honey farms. Okay, so and you want to do some kind of statistical analysis of their behavior. Maybe um, you want to look at how often they get sick or how much honey they produce. You want to do some kind of statistical analysis, analysis so you see trends, um, and then you want to draw inferences about that group of individuals. So, um, your 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 report that you would write up would be about honeybees who live on commercial farms. So that would be your population that you're studying. So your stati your statistical analysis would have implications for that group of individuals. So whatever you say in your report, um, it would uh, you would be making the claim that it generally holds true for all honeybees who live on commercial honey farms. Uh, but because it's usually impossible to collect data about your entire population that you want to study. Um, you would collect data from a subset of the population, <coughs> and that's called a sample. Um, and taking that, uh, collecting the data from um, from the population, from the subset of the population, would be called st would be called sampling. So you want to you want to do a study on um, honeybees who live on commercial honey farms, but can you honestly just go all around the world to every single commercial honey farm there is and collect data on every single honey honeybee at those honey uh, uh, those commercial honey farms? No, I mean that's just that's impossible. Um, yet your study w will have implications for all honeybees who live on commercial honey farms. So what you do is you take a sample um, of your population. So you'd collect data about a smaller group of honeybees um, who live on commercial honey farms and then you do your statistical analysis you um, you know maybe you would collect numbers on how often they get sick or how much honey they produce or um, or whatever whatever you're interested in and then you would draw inferences you'd say well if this is true about this smaller subset uh, if this is true about my sample then it's probably generally true about the population that I'm interested in so here's here's a, a picture to kind of visualize this um, this is sort of the metaphor that's in my mind. Um, your population would be um, all these birds. Not every single bird in the universe, but um, you would narrow it down to, I'm interested in studying the birds um, within my field of view here. But since I can't get numbers on every single one here, I'm going to take a sample and then say, well, what's true about these is probably true about all of these. 